All right, hi, hello everyone. Thank you for, uh, for joining me on this new video about Samurai Siege. I'm going to tell you about a couple of quick things. Um, first of all, we'll talk about what's coming up this weekend and uh, and then about the rest of the saga and maybe a few other cool surprises. So to start us off, let's talk about this weekend, which is the first week of the new Oni saga. Uh, this is a cool saga in which you guys can get your hands on Raiju, who is a Thunder Oni. If you guys have seen the Brimstone Oni before, which is the one who sort of hits the ground with his with his club and uh, it does sort of a double explosion. Um, this one's much cooler. This is uh, an Oni who has an electrified club. So when he hits the ground, sparks fly, it jumps between a couple of buildings and the higher you level this camp, the, uh, the more uh, of a spread you'll get on that lightning effect. There's also a new cool troop coming into this, uh, in this event that is, um, it's like a, an assassin that uh, is ranged, so it throws a lot of shurikens before running in to finish the job. So here we have the uh, the Raijin camp, uh, we can see here like a cool sort of lime green uh, purple haired Oni. Um, currently it's just level 1, that's the level you'll get when you win it in the event. There's also the Kiku assassin camp, it's like a little cool white assassin here. Like I said, she throws shurikens to take stuff down. Um, I'll, uh, I'll bump this straight up to three so you guys see how powerful it is uh, at the end of the this weekend's event. After you've got the two tokens, and we'll, we'll try out and see what's going on. But if I just get... If I, why am I going to build defences? I need to train troops. So if I train a few troops, I'll train some uh, some nice freeze scrolls just to keep, keep control of the towers. Um, maybe train a few rams to break in through the walls. Um, and then, I guess, fire demons to clean up a bit. This should be a good, a good little pack. Let's head off into battle, see what goes down. So, yeah, as I said, the first thing I was going to tell you about was the event. Uh, second thing was actually the troops. So, the event is the electric only event, lightning only event. The troops are these cool kaiju, the cool lightning only, and also uh, this, this really cool assassin. So, let's throw this down. Uh, I'll earthquake this wall section. Uh, drop in a couple of rams just to seal the deal on these front walls. Well, it seems wasteful, but I, I, uh, I just don't like walls. Drop Rashomon in. That tower's almost gone. Let's freeze these ones. Let's drop the bonus troops in, and uh, and pretty soon you'll start to see him hit things and cast that lightning. That's the pink lightning isn't him. The pink lightning is someone else. The blue lightning is him. So you see there, it's already spreading. It'll jump up to five spaces whenever it hits something. So you can see you get quite a bit of stretch out of it. You know, you're, you're hitting over here, um, but the damage is, is stretching all the way out to the castle um, from the corner of the base. So it's, it's a really good spread, uh, but it is reliant on him getting in there, you know, staying alive long enough to do max damage. Here he is down here, still smashing away. Um, even if he hits a troop, it will still cause the lightning to spread. So if he gets engaged by the enemy Rashomon, he's still gonna have a whale of a time. Um, and he's really good for mopping up the, uh, the low health sort of bases that you guys get stuck on at the last couple of percent. You know, you've smashed your way into the base, you've taken the castle, there's a few percent left, you've only got 30 seconds. You know Essence Masters were good for that in the first place, but this guy is also really strong for that because he can take a beating from that one last drum gun that's giving you a bit of grief. So that's the troops for this weekend. Uh, that's the event for this weekend. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh, the changes we made to leagues. I know this has been a, a pain point for a few people. Um, you know, it's slightly unexpected for some people, but as we move from having a, a two league system to a three league system, you know, the people who have the streaks, the streaks are going to drop when you move to a new league because you're no longer at the top of the game anymore. You, you are now, you know, you, yeah, you had that streak and that streak was an incredible achievement, but there is a new frontier for you guys to conquer and an entirely new streak for you to build. So whereas before you were in the ninja room, top of the room, and you guys had, you know, the best streak going, uh, and you were fighting against, you know, maybe a couple of other players to try and get a higher streak than them. Well, now the tables are reset. This is your chance to get off in front, to rush ahead, and to have a higher streak than that guy whose streak you were stuck behind for so long previously. Try and think of it, if you can, like that. It is a reach set. It is a chance for a new streak. Um, you know, your achievements aren't lost. you still accomplished wicked things, but now you can accomplish even more at a higher level of skill. Sweet, that's all I've got to talk to you about. Please, as always, leave comments in the video, leave comments on Facebook, uh, Twitter, everywhere you can reach us. Hit me with comments and I will get them all read and see what we can do to make this game super sweet and dreamy for you guys going forwards. Thank you very much.
Thank you for watching.